Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Welcome back to the Flashpoint Cypress campaign. 2004, mission 5 already, good god, been send. Yep, hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the fifth mission of the uh, Cypriot campaign. Uh, just a little recap of what's happened, it's been a little while since we, we did a mission on this one. So as you might remember, the um, the northern Cypriot forces, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, had kind of done their own thing and uh, had uh, invaded the Green Zone, which is the UN buffer zone between north and southern uh, Cyprus. The mainland Turkish forces had kind of sat on the fence a little bit. They were kind of felt like they were being dragged into a conflict they didn't really want to be in. But um, ultimately, after uh, things got very kind of grey and murky with the conflict, um, some Greek uh, mirages shot down Turkish aircraft and it all basically uh, went up and uh, blew up. And uh, now the mainland Turkish forces are getting involved and effectively supporting the TRNC and what they're doing. So that means uh, for this mission, um, it's going to be very much similar to last time, um, except you're going to see a lot more armoured forces. So there's going to be uh, M60 patterns, um, probably a, a little bit more of the 23mm uh, mounted on trucks to support it. And because of all of this kind of brewing conflict between two NATO allies, um, the Americans have finally shown up. Uh, so I actually Googled this and did a bit of uh, Google history, uh, and there was a carrier strike group called Carrier Strike Group 10 in the Mediterranean in 2007, uh, sorry, 2004, uh, and uh, the USS Truman. So we have all of that in game, so I've put that in, uh, and I've also put in accurate um, uh, liveries for the F-14s and the F-18s as well. So they're going to turn up, they're going to start overflying the area uh, in the hope that it'll dissuade Greece and Turkey from escalating the conflict further. But I guess you probably can all guess that that's not going to happen. Uh, as an aside to that, uh, our intelligence uh, forces have also managed to locate the Enosis leader. So if you remember, he was a dastardly uh, hind that went on really set off the whole war in the first place. And he falsely painted his hind in uh, UN white colors and then managed to escape onto a boat. And we didn't really know where that boat's been, but it's popped back up again on our radar. And so we've hatched a plan uh, using special boat services to go and uh, assault the boats whilst they're at sea before they make their escape um, and uh, try and kidnap him and uh, basically then interrogate him to find out you know, who's been backing the insurgency that really kicked this all off in the first place. In terms of the individual missions for the different air flames, airframes, um, so we've got the Mirage 2000s are going to be doing cap for the Greek forces, but we've obviously also got then the F-14s uh, coming from the US Task Force. Uh, they have slightly different rules of engagement. So because the Greeks have been here a bit for a few missions now, and obviously there's a you know, full-on conflict going on between themselves and mainland Turkey and, and northern Cyprus, um, their rules of engagement are, pr are the loosest, so they can effectively just go off and do what they like. The F-14s, however, uh, who are doing CAP, you have to be fired upon by uh, a Turkish F-16 because you're trying to keep the peace, and so that kind of reflects the fact that unless they fire upon you, uh, then you can't retaliate. Obviously, once they do, then it's free game. In terms of the F-16s, the Greek F-16s, uh, again, you can be doing um, SIAD and even DIAD if you want. So I know last time you were firing off your arms. This time, if you want to go in with uh, cluster munitions or whatever, or actually take out the sites, you can do that. There's still several Hawk sites and SA-3 sites in northern Cyprus that need taking out, uh, particularly if the Greek Mirage F-1s are going to go and then uh, attack two of the remaining airfields. Um, so that's... Uh, something that the Mirage F1s should be considering is that they need to kind of get confirmation that those SAM sites have been neutralized before they start charging off to strike runways because otherwise they're going to get swatted out the sky. In terms of um, what forces are going to be against you for the CAP uh, and any of the fixed wing operating in northern Cyprus, you've got the Turkish F-16s there are armed with uh, Amram Bs. Um, compared to the last time, these F-16s will be actively seeking out fixed wing in, in, in northern Cyprus and, uh, and will be firing upon you. So just bear that in mind um, that you really want to make sure they are taken out as well before you go charging around in northern Cyprus. They will not, they will not attack helicopters. They will only attack fixed wing. In terms of defences around any of the airfields, uh, once those Hawks are down, then the Mirage F-1s can only really expect um, maybe the odds 23 millimeter but otherwise it'll all be 50 cal so relatively a kind of low strength triple a uh, 
Um, obviously, you've got the Mirage 2000s, can do cap as well if they want, but bear in mind you're up against F16s now with Amram Bs, and you've only got F, um, you've only got um, Fox ones. So just keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of the Harriers, the Apaches, and the Hinds, um, and the Gazelles, again, it's all anti-tank cast stuff, uh, similar to what you were doing last time, but just be aware that um, the forces are a bit stronger now. They're M M60s. You've got kind of an average strength of, uh, of a platoon of four M60s supporting four mechanized infantry and a, and, a, and that, that'll be m113 apcs again uh, and then maybe one hq apc and some some ground forces expect them to be supported with some 23 millimeter AAA and the odd stinger not every group will have a stinger but you know the stingers tend to be protecting the AAA. so you know once you've seen those two destroyed you know you're relatively safe but just you know keep your heads on a swivel for any any of those man pads. Um, in terms of the fixed wing for the Harrier, uh, just keep in mind as well that the Turkish F-16s will try and hunt you down if you go too far north. If that happens, my recommendation for anyone that's having trouble with the Turkish F-16s is to go south. Uh, you've got um, several SAM sites in the south now. You've got Kingsfield, which you remember is the the British Army base where the helicopters take off from. Those are protected by rapiers and a load of AAA and, and man pads. You've got a TORS site because the, the Cypriots and Cypriots are operating TORS. Um, so you've got those at Lakatamia, uh, which is south of Nicosia, or Nicosia, sorry for my pronunciation. Uh, Akateri and then Paphos, which is the main Greek base. They've all got their own SAM sites. But this nicely segues, segues me on to the, uh, the Greek Hueys, um, who are going to be helping set up the S300. And this is kind of based a little bit on history as well. So one of the, the reasons Turkey was having a bit of a, a falling out with, with Greece back then was that the, that, uh, the Greek Cypriots had bought an S300 uh, and they were threatening to set it up. And of course, that would give them quite a, a powerful um, air defense asset. Uh, in the end, they didn't set it up but they just kind of put it in storage. So we're now kind of modeling the fact that because hostilities have started, we're going to set it up. So what's happened is the convoy carrying parts um, with the remaining parts of the S300 have got broken down on the, the muddy roads up to Mount Olympus, where there's a, a air defense site base that they're setting up the S300. And so the Hueys uh, are tasked to basically fly over to this area where the convoy's broken down, uh, and they will be broadcasting uh, an SOS uh, on 40 FM, so you can track them. They're also going to be putting out blue smoke uh, when you get near them. Uh, and uh, they had to airlift uh, at least three of these crates to the uh, SAM site at uh, Mount Olympus. Uh, in terms of the Pumas, as I mentioned already, they're going to be taking off from HMS Oceans. So they're back out at sea again. And the idea is they're going to track down um, the two boats that are trying to escape uh, out to the east. Um, and they're going to land special boat services aboard these, uh, these two vessels. I mean, the way it's all set up is if only one of you either hovers next to the boat or lands on the boat, then it will start triggering the messages so you know um, the special boat services have been um, kind of landed on the boat and you'll get another message to say they're ready to be picked up and you'll have to go back in and pick them up again or just stay on the deck of the you know the um, uh, what's it called the handy wind I think it is the large ship with the helicopter pad in the middle. Flights Greek and Cypriot National Guard forces we have Gazelles, Arty, Hind, Sock, Blight and Red, Mirage F1, Unexpected, Harath, Mirage 2000, Bypass, F-16C, Jigsaw Cap, Hueys, Lucky, Shrak, British and US forces, Harrier, Bean, Elo, Chopsticks, Apache, Kelso, Space, Makabu, Pumas, sorry, Pumas, Tuxor, Matrix, Tomcats, Cover and Luke, Whistler, High, Tanky, and Bogs, Stoat, Chakal. Pixel, have you got HTS pod? Negative, unfortunately. So we're we going without them? Yeah, it's possible, but it's just pain in the ass. Alright. Uh, there were lots of bad contacts on the HST. <clears throat> yep. Uh, the Greeks are weapons free, Jigsaw. Ah, Roger, got it. What did you rearm with? Four times uh, 120 piece. Yeah, I think I'll follow suit.
Five months ready for takeoff on runway two nine. Do I wait for you guys? You can wait, yeah. Just I would say two minutes and then we're done. Copy or hold here. Uh, at the start of the runway two nine. Roger. Cap ready. Okay. East end isn't it? Yeah. Purpose, advice, the first contact is like 35 miles to the north, I would say. Already quite close. Roger, Roger, we're carrying on our SAM network. Check them out. Hopefully, he just run into our SAM. Oh, so the hostiles use NATO or Soviet SAMs. I forgot, I was forgetting this conflict. It's a mixed cap, that's why it's complicated. Roger. Relying on Hawks and Taurus. I believe they have rapier sights. Oh, I hate those things. Okay, okay. Um, bypass um, putting up. We're gonna now. let you go first and just wait 30 seconds and go then. Go, Mirage! Cap ready? Check. Release brakes in three, two, one. Uh, all flights Greek, uh, cap flights airborne, heading north. What table are you use, using? I'm going to set my tables up. Um, let me check. Uh, unfortunately, I just forgot to fire them up. Just give me a second. Uh, AWAX is available, GCI available on 225. A hawk sight. I don't have a hawk sight in any of my um, tables, so if we don't know the frequency code, we can't fire yeah, it. Right. That's the problem, viewers. The problem is we don't have a HTS pod, a hard targeting system. Therefore, we don't know the frequencies, viewers, to tune our, 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 our arms into the particular type of SAM emitters we want to fire against. That's a real problem. I'm going to go in a right-hand orbit here and just get, get the table on it. So, Hawkside should be track radar is 204. Um, search radar is 203 and uh, what is the other one? And 206, so 203, 204 and 206. Cap 203, 204, 206, tuned in, table 1. Continue climbing, he just 30. Okay, Hawks, 
Good, I'm Manos. Are we fire, are we green to fire? Are we allowed to fire the Hawksheads? Any Hawksheads? Yeah, uh, as you move the Hawksheads, it's uh, the only thing I would say for the SC3 is more of a priority, but uh, yeah, otherwise any Hawksheads. Magnum, Good, thank you. Okay, which one did you fire on left? Uh, the one at 2047. I bought it at 047. Yep, that's the correct one. I'm gonna shoot another one. I did one, I did one, viewers, I did a thing. So we focus on the SA3 side as well. Roger, switching to SA3. Get a new table out, viewers. Table 3. Enemy F16s uh, at 050, 100 miles. Magnum SA3. Besides selected, I think we are always almost in range, are we? I fired SA3. Right. Magnum. Woohoo! Okay, let's go on the right hand over here and wait if it's cleared up or not. Aye aye. Down out, Angels 20. Thank you for the candy. And um, report. We're just doing a thing, viewers. We're shooting magnums. Oh, I wish I had a magnum to eat. No. We have a two ship to the north, um, 30 miles. One of it is right. Very correct, they're hot, coming in hot. I don't like you and you don't like me. Let's dance. Here we go. Destroyed P19. Yep. Yep, that's his face blown up. Got the SA3, do you want me to pop it? Yeah, go for it. Magnum. Fly my pretty fly. What's the ROE? Fire it, fire it upon, or have I got that wrong, guys? No, we're weapon three. Turkish, we can fire that. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to do whatever you think is best. Uh, we'll have to choose one focus on that. I recommend that. West. We're going to shoot one. Oh, they're pretty close actually. We're actually merged with a hostile, are you aware of that? Yep. I think it's helicopters, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to forget the helicopter, let's focus on the, the F 16s. Gotcha. Thanks for me, so 
I'm turning west as well. Follow you and then quickly RTP rearming. I've looked west, but there's, there is no one out to the west. There are no hostiles in data link, question mark. Okay, uh, zero, uh, three, two, zero, 40 miles, single F-16. Noted. I just lost him off the data link. Yep, same here. Where's he gone by, Buzz? Uh, he's turned cold, he's turned north with the cold. Uh, there is a second one, uh, 20 miles to his east, at 3-6, uh, or 0-1-0. I'll go left side, one three two zero. Roger, in uh, regards to state, we're in the blind, so relying, we're relying on your updates. Has a radar return. Okay, are you gonna take care about the guy? Twelve. I'm gonna fire the guy. Angels. Twenty. Uh, my radar blip is inconsistent. I'm not sure what angels is that, but he's twenty miles in front of me. Yep. He's nineteen. Okay. Cap okay, box three on what I think is your guy. I've got a bad brick. I've got a bad brick. Fox one. Oh, there's another one popping up. Chaff, chaff. Uh, be advised that uh, Angel 33 or 32 is bypass. How close are you, bypass? Very close, 10 miles. I'm holding fire. Please be a baddie, please be a baddie, please Fox be a baddie. Lock. Fox 2. Blue 4 assets, you have red 4 enemy of some type within 30 miles of your current position. They're running cold, Cap. That's Jason. Watch out. Ah, oh, such bad bricks today. I lost both on the link. Cap splash 1 F16, hope it was baddie. I'm searching for the second one. I found him. He's at that's going box two. I may be locking you, so I'm holding fire. Fox two. Yeah, I'm locking you. Visual. He's flaring. I'm holding back. Fire. Jigs are hold fire. Yep. Mirage put out a flare. Visual. This guy's flying weird, he's flying really slow. Cap has a solution, I'm firing. Or stay away, Mirage. Mir missile going in. Mirage flaring. Missiles tracking hostile. Progress. E TTI five seconds. Also down. Two F 16s down. Nice. Well done, Cap. Okay, I'm gonna uh, dive down on the helicopters. They're not being. Okay, bypass uh, winch is already being to path off. Right, boss, where are we going now? Um, let's just shoot the helicopters to the east. Aye, aye. The not Yeah, watch out, guys, you have a second flight to run 60 miles to directly to your east. 
Lead, I see you merged with the contact. Yep, helicopters. Watch out for low level uh, IR time, check it out. God. God. Going up. I'm blind to that chopper, is it still active? I think it is, yeah, I lost some data link. If it's not a data link, don't tangle, tangle with it. Italian helicopters. Oh dear. Told you not to mess with bloody helicopters. Don't ask. Pilot type. Yes, those IR Sam's eh? Yeah, maybe. My aircraft is still good. I'm dead. Alright, bypass. In that case, I'm going to take a couple of shots and I'm going to come on RTB with you. Yeah, you're 1v2 cap. Watch out. Yeah, that's alright. I'm just going to shoot and scoot. RTB, Winchester. Two ship group of bandits coming in from the northern end. Nice cap, splash. Yep, both down. We'll take that, boys. I will take that. Good day's hunting so far. Two Sams and four bandits. There. Pathos traffic uh, bypass on approach runway one one. Looking for base. I can't find the base. Where's the base? Oh my god, I just got shot. I just got shot. I'm in friggin' the wrong territory. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Do a thing. I have so gone into em enemy terrain. For you, I'm confused. Jigsaw, are you still on comms? Yep. A bad thing happened. I've got no engine. I need to. Um, where's the base? I need it right now. I went exactly where they asked me to go and I got shot. What was that one about? Where are you? Ah, there. Okay. Um. 220, 25 miles. There's no way to shortcut, no other options. 20,000, can you make it there? Nope, I'm gonna try. 220, yeah? Correct. I went on 169 and he just left me into enemy territory and I just died. Well, it's always eventful when I'm driving, viewers. Can't say it's not. You're turning south now. You can also go for the other base, same, almost same distance, a bit more, but not too much. I'm on 240 and still turning left. 1504, 25 miles. Now you're not, you're heading somewhere. 
you're turning at the moment, as, as, as far as I can see. You're heading as 125 at the moment. Are you sure? Because mine definitely says 220. I'll explain why I got lost. Yeah, that, I'm just wondering about that. So, slightly correct to the right, and you go for the other base, uh, like 25 degrees right, please. Roger, tell me when to stop turning. Obviously, my gyro compass is screwed. That will explain why I got lost, viewers. And let out. Okay, Paphos traffic runway clear. Your engine is dead, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got hit as well. Here we go. I mean, our friendly helicopters are just flying below you right now, so, I mean, maybe you can just jump out and ask them to take you home. Uh, of course, let's back up compass. Back up compass on this. Oh, visual. Okay, my backup Just compass traffic. is 150. Uh, on flight, taking runway yep. 29 for takeoff, almost good, slightly to the right, 95 degrees. I'm just saying, I highly doubt you're gonna make it there, it's still some distance, from like 15 miles. If we can just get me on a road, can we start vectoring me a chopper in? Tuxel will be delighted to do it. Roger. Uh, I think right underneath you is Lucky Stroke and Shrek. Alright, stop hitting them ahead of me, I'm gonna try and find somewhere. Well, viewers, that was um, eventful. So it turns out I had a bad compass, so I went into enemy territory, got shot, and now it appears I'm gliding. I'm just standing in 3-0. Probably to a certain death, but you never know. Uh, attention, Greek choppers. We have a pilot in need rescue. KCAP uh, choppers are standing by on your location. Roger, I'm just trying to find a road. The roads are all zigzaggy! <laughs> Location will be north of Akrotiri, between Akrotiri and the Big Lake. Why don't they make straight roads like the friggin' Americans? Gabi, can you mark it on the map if possible? There's no straight line, is there? I found a kind of straight one, but I'm going to see if I can make it. Yeah, you're very close to the uh, airfield, Cap. Can you try landing? Ah. Negative, don't have the glide slope. Or glide ratio. Alright, don't worry, viewers. We've been in a lot worse positions than this before. <laughs> Might be safer just bailing out the hub. Chopper's on the way. Uh, chop wake up. You might be just bail out. It might be better. I'll be alright, guys. I need the air. I'll save the airframe. Don't worry. I've been in a lot worse positions than this before. Kept to the right or to the left? Position marked uh, on the map. I think it's the right way. Will be delayed. Currently on mission. Visual highway. Roger that. Thank you. We're gonna overshoot. We're gonna overshoot. Gonna overshoot. Change the plan. Change the plan. Uh -oh. We're good. We're good. Everyone calm down. Must, for the weeds. must save airframe. Must save the airframe. Okay, direct them to me, please. I'm waiting. Okay, Cap, I let them know they'll be on their way. Hold tight. Mercy. Pilot's friggin' lazy. He needs to do cardio. Doing some kind of rescue or something. Okay, I think they got the um, rescue, the hostage, whatever was happening. Yeah, Roger, I'm super close. Let's have a look. I am I'm four miles, guys, four miles. I could run that in 10, 15 minutes. 
Oh, hang on. Can I pick, can I take a um, combined arms slot and go and pick myself up? Oh, yes. Why not? Looking for a tank or something. I mean, I can quickly grab the Harrier and we can switch seats. Yeah, go and pick me up on a Harrier. That's an order of. Apaches are firing on, some, firing on something. Oh, they're blowing lots of stuff up. Man, why is this game so slow at the moment? Oh, there we go. Heavens, they're shooting at the demilitarized zone. No, they just blew some guy's house up. Brilliant. Choppers are busy smashing something. Run, man, run! Look, it's combat Mike. Oh. Wow, B. Following your missile bypass. Missile has failed to track. That didn't fail to track. Yes. Keep a flight, we've extracted that bad guy and yeah, we've taken it back to the boat. Oh. Merger 4, Nicole. Merger 4. Looking for the second one. He's on your, he's on your uh, left. Uh, Lieutenant Pickles is expecting his interrogation suspect. Nine o'clock. Clean. You know how Pickles likes him clean before he has a chance to pick at him. She does. You got it. Talks to I'm on your nose, left 5 degrees. Right, by the two, uh, high, inbound, black and Damien. Uh, down pilot is being rescued. We're okay, thank you very much. And merge good news. with me. Can I be open, please? So, where do you want me to take you? Okay, uh, Jenkins, take me back to Aquatory, please. Thank you. Yeah. 
Package arriving, HMS Ocean. Don't you crash, Tuxor. Dixor, please feel free to put me down. Scudo, Alpha's traffic, bypass landing, runway 11. Thank you. Jenkins, you may now retire to the mess. I've got another mission to do. Package delivered, sir. A set of good old boys. I um, got evac'd back to base and I'm now in a new jet. What's your state of play? Where are you? Just landed at Paphos, rearming now, ready to take off in about three minutes. Oh, yeah. Cap, American Cap. Bloody hell, I'm right in next to you. What are the chances? Ah, there's a Mirage, a Mirage F1 next to you with no gear that's crash landed. That'll be Bean. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Interesting. You was I got a little excited. I won't lie. It won't happen again. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? Hello, Bean. Right, I'll see you at the uh, runway 29. Aye, aye. Okay, rearming now. Okay, bypass ready. Go, go, go. Spooling up. And release. see them on my data link. Do you want me to leave? Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to buzz past you. Four zero miles. Pop-up group, two more 80 miles away. I'll have to deal with these guys quickly then. I've already got bricks on the flank, so they're big, whatever they are. Probably a cargo plane or something, I don't know. Okay, 35 miles. Do you see anything on your radar? Uh, I just locked one of them up, just to, to scare them a bit. That's currently. Currently in the blind with my radar. Yeah, they did a turn and they're turning back hard on us, 28 miles. We locked. Box 3 on lead bandit. Copy that, we'll notch. Flash F16, looking for the other. Have you seen the other? Just looking now. Box three. I think I'm pretty sure I was on the other one. You put a flare out just to make sure. Target is not flaring. Target is engaging. Two down. Uh, Pop-up group, stand by. 
pop up group due north. They're off HSD now, but they were there. Let's go that way. Copy, and due north. Okay, pointing due north, scanning for targets. Found them. A340. 9,000 feet, 8 miles. Yup, turning. Fox 1. Oh. Hit, hit. What happened? What's the Mirage? What's the dog now Mirage? Uh, F16 times 2, snuck up behind the big contacts, watch out, Cap. Oh, dang. Roger, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I don't think they were there before they appeared, I think. Uh oh, viewers, a thing might be happening right now. Yeah, you're position. facing against uh, two of them. Roger, roger. Eight miles cap in a Get that guy. I've been hit, but I'm good, I'm good. Um, can I have my nearest RTB back to an emergency? Yeah, Again. RTB 215, 70 miles. 215, 70 miles. Well, that was a close one, viewers. Good Lord saw fit. You see what happens when I go to church every Sunday? The good Lord saw fit to let me survive the AMRA. Right, I'm pretty sure my engine's going to give out soon, so I'm going to get height and we'll glide as far as we friggin' need to glide. Yeah, good idea. Our viewing turns, how high can we get this F-16? Maintain current heading, looking good. Oh, engine's held out so far. US cap is tracking them, we'll engage if uh, we're allowed to. I think I just adjusted enough to avoid the, the splash pattern hitting me. Which is nice. Oh, okay, I see some bullet holes uh, underneath the fuselage. Yep, that's where I was hit. Okay, but well, that could be worse. The motor's still going. Yeah, ports. Two times enemy bandits coming in from the northeast of the island appear to be headed southwest inbound. Yeah, Mirage, if one's be advised, you have uh, bandits times two heading towards you. Uh, roughly 30 miles. Bye, but, uh, I think I'm okay. You can vector me to help people out if you need it. How are those bandits looking? They look fast and high, which worries me. Bucky, Shrek, and Guard. They are at uh, 50, 45, 50 miles. I think you'll, you'll make it, you'll be fine. A 14, uh, you have a bandit 2 ship, 050, 30 miles. Yeah, we're tracking them, we can't engage unless fired upon. They are very aggressive cover. I'm running away from them. All units, those Turkish F 16s are running in now against two Greek airborne units. Are off, we're engaging. SM2s fired for Turkish F-16s. One Turkish F-16 shot down. Second Turkish F-16 attacking Greek rotary units. I'm thinking we're going to go take out their tanker. They shot at us. Uh, cover, you have a bandit 0260, uh, 0 20 miles. 10,000. Shooting cover, shoot him. Oh, bend it down. Hmm. You and your damn rules, cover. Bypass RTB, back to please, I'm lost. Okay, uh, uh, okay, Cap, you need to head to 70 for 30 miles. 27030. And US is going to go for a little payback now. 
just emptying a Tomcat, look at that. I'm just gonna shit him up a little bit. Just for the lulls. US forces have been attacked. We are turning the gloves off. Copy that. Hey, cover uh, bra zero, 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 70 miles. Two ship F-16. Roger, thank you. Oh, he's returning the, on the correct uh, vector. <laughs> yeah, I was just playing with someone. Bye, boss. Is that Akrotiri right below me? I'm lost. That's correct. Akrotiri is to your left. Yeah, um, baby. Straight ahead is Papos. Uh, 20 miles. Roger. One base is as good as the other. Copy. See you back at base then. You bastard! Uh oh, that's friendly fire. That's a, a Phoenix on a friggin' Tomcat. And he's sort of shit, good man. End boss fight. Tomcat versus F-16. Do a thing. Shooting cover. to end a friggin' battle, boys. Yeah, I think we'll go group by group, Cap, because I couldn't keep an eye on everything that was going on. You couldn't so watch every single thing happen all the time? <laughs> <laughs> right. No.
Oh, that's not good enough. Right, flight I one. I can't be everywhere all at once or whatever the film is called that won the Oscar. Sure. Flight uh, flight one, punch it. Okay, the Greek Mirages, uh, we waited we over at the airfield for a while. Uh, eventually took off once the seed was kind of done. And uh, I got shot down in the way, and I just let... Uh, but it was pretty fun because I kept watching the rest. And it was really fun. I'll let Harath uh, explain the, the rest. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, so, yeah, we uh, headed towards um, the east and uh, unexpectedly got tagged by a man pad. Carried on and managed to nail the... Uh, I would nail the... Um, Runway at Urkan with a good couple of hits with the Durandal. Uh, went back to Payfoss, repaired, rearmed because I had some issues with my gear. Uh, and then I headed up north to Pinabashi and I got uh, one Durandal hit square in the centre of the runway before getting tagged by NSA 3. Next flight, please. Okay, that's me bypassing the Mirage 2000. Um, I took off, uh, stayed on Overwatch while the F 16s uh, did their uh, sea admission. Um, at, once they were done, we turned hot and engaged some bandits. We, we took them down. We landed again, rearmed, went up again. And Cap took, uh, took down two more bandits. And then I spotted a big fat target north and turned towards that. But um, it was a tanker. But uh, his escorts uh, turned hot on me and took me down. Next flight, please. Can I do an RT the Gazelle? No, next flight. We'll come back to you. Okay, that's you, Cap. Oh, uh, myself, Jigsaw, we took off, we did SEAD, that's us there, we shot a bunch of SAMs, then Jigsaw got shot uh, going after some helicopters, then I killed some baddies, then I got shot and lost my engine, glided back to base, got picked up by a Harrier, taken back to base, got back in, went out again, shot down a little more bad guys, uh, RTB'd in absolute style. Next flight, please. Okay, that's the UH-18, uh, Lucky and Frack. We got uh, two trucks, uh, look, dropped three good crates, damaged two, and an arc TV'd. Sure, well done. Next flight, please. Arty, uh, that's you. Arty. Right, Arty and the Gazelle flew north to Nicosia Airport, took out the two ZSUs closest to the airport to let the Heinz in and then took out various APCs, other ZSUs around, worked with the Heinz basically, flew out slightly west as well once we'd cleared the area north of uh, Nicosia Airport and took out tanks and APCs there. A total of 17 kills, no losses for the Gazelle. Nice. Next flight please. All right, that's the Heinz. So myself, Blight, and Reddo took off from Nicos uh, took off from Lacatamia Airport, uh, headed north under the escort and watchful eye of Artie, who opened the gates for us, and we unleashed hell. Um, I provided cap for the group just in case anything did come after us, and targeting support while Blight and Reddo uh, commenced with the killing, as it were to be said. Uh, there was a lot of things dead in this area. Um, towards the end, we were wondering if we wanted to go after the Hawk sites to the north. We've we've really punched in a hole in their front lines. Next flight, well uh, on. Next flight, please. I think that's uh, down to the British and US forces now. Um, so myself and Ello uh, taken off from HMS Invincible. I initially went out to go and escort the Pumas on their job. Um, <laughs> quickly realized trying to hit speedboats is actually really really hard uh and uh then i flew back uh I used all my audience trying to get them but didn't get any of them uh went back to hms invincible and then had a crashed desktop so that was the end of my mission uh, i don't know if hello wants to say anything uh yeah i started off at the east i was just hitting artillery targets in uh in uh infantry i got about 12 13 targets down and then i went in the land and rearm Got back up, hit some more targets. I got about 22 different targets. Went back to landing realm and lag got me on the landing. So I went to the governing range and took about 20 tanks out. Huh. Next flight, please. H-64 flight, Kelso, Space Chef, and Macabu. Uh Macabu had some problems getting in, so Kelso and Space Chef took off, went up to our target area. Very target-rich environment. We shot a lot of stuff. Uh, when we were Winchester, Macabu was able to get in and start it out. Uh, the town around Olympia, Olympia uh, which was our right around our waypoint one, he was shot down, I think, by a man pad. 
we all three of us uh, rearmed and uh, Makabu got out there first and was taking revenge over that town. Uh, soon followed by Space Chef and Kelso. Uh, there was lots of stuff to shoot in the town. Uh, Space Chef went a little bit north of the green zone. When we got the green light, we were getting shot at, and I stayed at Olympia and was just firing. I uh, still had plenty of rockets when uh, we called for the index here. That was it. Uh, Space Chef or Makabu, would you like to say anything? Yeah, just ran out of guns trying to shoot down uh, two MI8s. Not easy to do the air-to-air -air stuff, but a lot of, lot of shacks. Yeah, I think we had 80 or something like that between the two of us. Yeah, we had yeah, plenty of those. Uh, we, we shot a lot of stuff. And by the way, Cover, uh, thanks for the shooting that F-16 down or those two F-16 down guys because they were chasing us bad on the ground. Next. Yeah, Space Chef, uh, Space Chef managed to dodge two AIM-120s. Uh, well done. I didn't see that, but cool. Next flight, please. Yeah, I see MI-8s. So myself and Matrix took off from Matrix Ocean, headed northeast to look for the ships that had the uh, Anosis, is that the right word, leader on him. Um, found them. I distracted the speedboats, um, ended up getting shot down, um, whilst the Matrix Fast roped the SBS troops on and um, yeah, collected them again and took the package back to HMS Ocean. Okay. You, biscuits. you boys are the heroes of the day, I suppose. I'd say so. Next floor, no, please. Okay, okay for the F 14s, uh, we had a very lazy cruise for the most part um, till we got uh, foxed on by the 16s. Uh, I dodged the 120 and ran for the hell. And uh, we managed to get those two splashed both by uh, SM missiles on the ground or rather from the sea. And I think Cover nailed one of them. And then um, we went to exact revenge on a couple of them that were up to the north. And some cheaty, cheaty air spawning 16s spawned in about 20 miles next to us. Actually, one was almost within uh, visual range of Cover. Uh, splashed me, got in a fur ball with cover, splashed him, and left Tanky and High all alone. I'm going to say it again. I consider Red 4 air spawns to be cheaty. What am I said? Uh, I just... Uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. What's up, High? Can we help you with something? Oh, no. I was going to say that I just avenged the F-16 that got uh, my lead here. So he just died. You can feel a little better. Well done. Uh... Is there another flight, guys? Yeah, well, cold, yeah, cold. but uh, not a lot was happening there. It was a very quiet flight. Uh, just provided a bit of uh, overwatch and came home. Gotcha. Visual. Uh, right. Summary, B. Ann. Yeah, so good job, everyone. Um, from a sort of strategic overview, that was pretty good uh, blunting a lot of the armor that was moving south, especially around the capital there. So good job all the anti-armor forces that did that. Uh, that's great news. We've got the Enosis leader in our hands now. We can interrogate him to find out who's been funding the insurgency and who mm. are the evil masterminds behind all of this. Could affect the outcome of the war. But, of course, the, the, the Turkish forces firing on the Americans is going to escalate things quite significantly. Um, so, and I, I wanted to mention that Lucky and Shrek technically uh, shot down uh, aircraft as well because the S300 spawned in that they constructed and it shot down a Huey, which I'm not sure oh. is good value for money given the missile probably cost more than the, the Turkish Huey, but, um, but yeah, good on them. Um, but yeah, good job, everybody. Obviously, big escalation. We'll see uh, what happens next time. Right. I hope you enjoyed yep. that. We'll, we'll see you later. Later. Ta-ta.